to the AWS Builders online series. My name is Owen Law, a senior partner solutions architect in AWS, supporting our enterprise customers across Asia Pacific region. In AWS, we're always looking for ways to empower builders to innovate quickly and efficiently. We all know that as builders, finding and deploying software on the cloud can sometimes take longer and more effort than we wanted. This session will introduce AWS Marketplace, a curated digital catalog with thousands of software from independent software vendors that makes it easy to find, test, buy, and deploy software to run on AWS. We will look at how builders can leverage Marketplace to find the right operating system to support their needs in cloud migration, building new applications, and experimenting with innovative ideas. Many enterprise in their on-premise environment have thousands of applications and tens and hundreds of vendors in the technology stack. These are often comprised of a mix of in-house developed and procured software. When you have so many applications to manage, it becomes challenging to keep track of cost, utilization, and business impact of these applications. Moving to the cloud is a clear, clear opportunity to transform their application portfolio. Many of our customers are seizing on this opportunity to tap into new models such as software as a service, container, or serverless architecture. They are also using this opportunity to reassess applications that are underutilized and choose to retire some of these applications. So instead of paying upfront or committing to multi-year software license for every application they use, they now have an opportunity to optimize their spending and portfolio composition. The 550-500 model we have shown here highlights customer will continue to spend the bulk of their IT budget on mega software vendors such as SAP. But they're also going to rely on a middle tier of software applications across categories such as networking, security, business intelligence, where they want freedom of choice and diversity. Then there's also a long tail of application that they might need for niche use case or on an ad hoc basis. Typically, customers are not sure how much they're going to use this software. Therefore, pricing and contractual flexibility is very important. As we will illustrate, AWS Marketplace is well positioned to help customers transform their spending and portfolio composition, especially across the bottom two application tiers. So what is AWS Marketplace? It is a curated digital catalog to simplify provisioning and procurement of cloud software. As builders, you can discover cloud software. You can try it, you can buy it, you can deploy it, and you can manage it in your own AWS environment. AWS Marketplace currently has over 8,000 listings from more than 1,600 software vendors across more than 50 software categories, which includes security, networking, machine learning, DevOps, and operating system, just to name a few. It is a global platform available across 24 AWS regions, currently attracting more than 290,000 active customers, and the momentum continues to go. Marketplace is a common starting point for our customers to leverage AWS services, as evident by the millions of easy to compute hours deployed monthly as a result from customer directly launching software from the marketplace. So think about it. As builders, you can look to consume from the tremendous catalog of software from AWS Marketplace. But as you build your solution, as you mature in your cloud capabilities, this is also a global platform for you to distribute and promote your innovation as an AWS Marketplace seller. AWS Marketplace can help with both buying and selling motion along your cloud adoption journey. From a builder's perspective, Marketplace offers three distinct benefits. If you're just getting started on the cloud, you can quickly find, try, and deploy software from the Marketplace across a wide variety of categories and deploy this directly into AWS, or in a matter of minutes. If you're progressing your cloud journey, but you are unsure what kind of software you will use and how much you will use them. You can leverage pay-as-you-go pricing as well as flexible contractual terms. Once you're ready to commit, 
you can turn to multi-year terms to get better discount. You can also bring your own license if you're already using these software on-premise. If you have specific procurement needs, you can leverage private offers from the marketplace. And finally, all software in the AWS marketplace have been through a detailed curation process where they're reviewed and continuously scanned to ensure they meet security guidelines and are able to run reliably on AWS. For the rest of this session, we will zoom into operating system on AWS Marketplace, which is one of the most common entry points used by our customer. The concept behind a fit-for-purpose operating system is to balance the breadth of choice and match your know, operating system against specific needs of different software application. By making it easy to discover, consume, and deploy from a rich catalog of operating system, we aim to reduce barriers of entry during migration to cloud. We aim to reduce cost of building solution on AWS, and we aim to accelerate speed and effectiveness of experimenting on AWS. As we have highlighted before, operating system are often the starting point for our customers in AWS Marketplace. There are currently more than 700 operating system products listed. They comprise of different vendors. You know, many of the well-known names are shown here. These came in different pricing options from free trial to pay per use you know, per month, per hour. And they deliver via different methods, including Amazon machine image, containers, software as a service, and cloud formation templates. While the marketplace catalog is where these products are centrally listed, there's a lot of effort we've made to ensure that these operating systems can be discovered and launched via different parts of the AWS console and interface. We want to make sure that these operating systems can be very supplementary to your AWS experience, and you can use them alongside with other AWS native services. So the best way to show you Marketplace is to jump right into it. So for this demo, I'll show you how quickly you can find and launch a deep learning image from the marketplace, deploy a Jupyter Notebook instance in just a few clicks, and start your machine learning development in a matter of minutes. We will start from the EC2 instance launch visit. First, you're going to see from the Quick Start tab some of the most launched images, including the Amazon Linux images and other images from our partners. You will also be able to see community images. These are published by other AWS users. We also provide guidelines for you to build and publish your own. For this demo, we'll focus on the AWS Marketplace. Here, we'll type in deep learning as a keyword to search for the right Marketplace images. As you can see on the left, we presented with a number of filter criteria, including software categories, including operating system flavor, and also we will see different pricing options. For this demo, we will select Ubuntu as a filtering criteria, and we'll pick the deep learning Amazon machine image as a starting point. Once we selected the image, we'll be presented with more information, including deployment, guidelines, as well as pricing information specific to this operating system image. We will then be returned back to the EC2 instance launch visit, where we can complete the rest of the launch process. Here, we'll be selecting through some of the prerequisites in terms of networking, security group configuration, and so on. And we're now finally ready to launch this deep learning image. Once this instance is launched, this particular image is previewed with optimized deep learning framework installed in a Conda environment. So we can simply log into it. And once we've done that, we can launch a Jupyter Notebook instance, as you can see on the screen here. Once the instance is successfully launched, we're now ready to jump right in and launch 
a Jupyter Notebook. As you can see here, it's a very simple process. It will take a few minutes to boot up. And once it's ready, we can log in to the Jupyter Notebook using some of the credentials and information shown here. And we can start developing our machine learning models. There are three clearly defined areas where AWS Marketplace Fit for Purpose Operating System can help builders. We want to help you migrate faster to the cloud. There are many workloads that require specific operating system. SAP.NET workloads are a good example of this. And these solutions, the operating system that are optimized for these workloads are already available on AWS Marketplace. So you can start migrating without major refactoring of your code. For customers who are looking to build new solutions on AWS, they might already have existing skills, experience, tool chains, or you know, part of an operating system community. For these users, Marketplace can help jumpstart them by offering the right operating system so they get started on AWS in minutes without the need to relearn tools or redevelop the application. This leads to the next area, which is experimentation. If you are innovating on new ideas such as machine learning, containers, or blockchain, the priority is often you know, proving out business outcome and be able to fail fast. So having readily available operating system can really help jumpstart that prototyping and use case development process instead of spending valuable cycle um, on infrastructure and environment setup. Let's start with migration. The focus here is on simplifying the experience and lowering barriers of entry. As we have illustrated here, the enterprise migration process typically begins by discovering and assessing the current environment in order to extract data around utilization, application inventory, and software architecture. With this data, Customer can then make an informed decision on the right migration strategy and identify the right tools and skills needed to support the migration. In this process, having fit for purpose operating system available in AWS Marketplace means customer can tap into migration options such as re-hosting or re-platforming that incurs a lower level of effort, allowing them to leverage existing skills and existing tools. During this process, customer can also look into other marketplace options such as repurchase option into software as a service and tap into a comprehensive set of migration planning and workload assessment tools that are also available in the marketplace. One example where this has proven valuable for customer is SUSE Linux for SAP. SUSE Linux and SAP together has been a well-proven, well-optimized solution. And SUSE Linux itself is optimized at the packaging and driver level to enhance AWS performance. What this means is our AWS competency partners supporting customers' SAP migration are choosing SUSE for deploying SAP on AWS. And they're spending the efforts to standardize the solution and coming up with reference architecture to support the deployment. This joint solution is available on AWS Marketplace, as we've shared a quick start link here. As a result, customer can lean on a single point of contact for their SAP workloads, backed by AWS and SUSE premium support for a streamlined operational experience. Customer can purchase the SUSE Linux solution via pay-as-you-go pricing. If you compare this to on-prem model based on upfront or perpetual license, this means customer can not only deploy production SAP workload on AWS, but they can also explore deploying other development or testing workload by taking advantage of more flexible on-demand pricing. One great customer example we have is Engie, an international energy provider that operates across 70 countries globally. They have successfully migrated Subhana on premise into AWS, thereby significantly reducing their database footprint, reduce their ramp up time for new users, and achieve major cost savings. If you want more information, you can refer to the link here. 
Going beyond migration, we also want to help builders stay focused in writing their applications with minimal heavy lifting on the underlying infrastructure and environment. While some builders will develop natively on AWS, there are also others who are already working with existing operating system, such as you know, Windows users or Red Hat Linux users. An example we have is a very large customer who are developing global scale mobile applications on AWS leveraging CentOS. As this was a foundation, their teams have been developing a point for many years. For them, procuring CentOS via AWS Marketplace makes it much easier as it comes in an optimized package with the right drivers. So de development teams can jump right in, get started on AWS, and have more time and bandwidth to explore other AWS services. We also recognize our builders have different needs, and hence we have populated our marketplace catalog with many different operating system options. This ranges from popular general purpose OS, including our own Amazon Linux 2, Red Hat, CentOS, Ubuntu, SUSE, Debian, to name a few. And then we also have operating system images that are optimized for specific application. For example, we have Nginx running on CentOS. We have Elasticsearch running on Debian. And finally, we have fully integrated solution such as LAMP stack running on Amazon Linux 2 or WordPress solution. These are automated cloud formation templates that can be launched directly from marketplace and available for use within minutes. One important example of how we help our builders is Amazon Linux 2, which provides a secure, stable, high performance and up-to-date execution environment. With Amazon Linux 2, you have access to an application environment that has built-in integration with other AWS services through AWS CLI. You also have long-term support with access to the latest innovation in the Linux ecosystem provided at no additional charge. Amazon Linux 2 is available in many different forms, including Amazon Machine Image, Docker Container Image. It is also available as Virtual Machine Image for use in KVM, ESXi environment, so you can also use them on-premise. Beyond the native benefits of Amazon Linux 2, there's also a broad ISV ecosystem where our partners have built high quality solutions that are secured on top of Amazon Linux 2. The slide here highlights a number of these well-known solutions from our partners. Another example is CentOS, which is our partner's operating system that is gaining major adoption on AWS. As we have highlighted here, there are more than 660 CentOS-based products many of which are provided by our technology partners that are building on top of AWS. We have highlighted a few examples here for your reference, including CentOS image that are specialized for few programmable device programming, as well as CentOS package that are highly performant WordPress uh, stack. Finally, let's talk about experimentation. This is where we support builders who want to experiment in new domains such as containers, machine learning, and blockchain. One of the key objectives is to help them fail fast and be able to experiment with multiple ideas quickly, leveraging AWS as a platform. So how do we help builders experiment in these areas by offering fit-for-purpose operating system? There are multiple layers of how we are enabling these builders. For builders who want to maintain a high degree of control and be able to customize their environment, we want to provide them with operating system options via marketplace and also find ways to integrate this with their tools and workflows. Let's start with containers. We offer pre-built images that can be used to build container clusters on AWS. For example, we have Amazon Linux images that are optimized for use with AWS Elastic Container Service, and AWS Kubernetes Service. These can be used in building worker nodes as part of a ECS or EKS launch workflow and are pre-integrated with many popular launch tools such as the console itself, 
EKS control, command line interface, or Terraform providers. We also have container images, such as Rancher OS, a lightweight containerized Linux distribution built as containers, but can also be used to run containers on top. Another example is Alpine Linux, which is a very lean, security-oriented Linux distribution, ideal for use cases such as small footprint and fast boot-up. For deep learning, these software stacks are often very complex to build, especially considering the breadth of deep learning framework out there, the dependency packages involved, and the optimization needed with GPU resource. The inherent challenge here is, how do you take advantage of community contribution to these deep learning framework, but not wasting useful development cycle just to set up the environment? For deep learning, we offer solutions including NVIDIA Deep Learning Amazon Machine Images, which is optimized for running containers available from NVIDIA's NGC registry and optimized to perform on AWS P3 and G4 instances. As we've shown in the first demo, we also have AWS Deep Learning Images made available to customers. This comes either with pre-installed package of deep learning framework or as a base image, which allows you to start from a clean slate. The final area is blockchain, where we offer images optimized for distributed ledger, smart contract development use cases that are secured, automated, auditable, and pre built with integration to frameworks such as Truffle, Everu, C++, and Node.js. For the second demo, I'll show you a simple architecture which leverages Amazon Linux AMI optimized for EKS. We'll show you how you can quickly use EKS Control, a command line tool we jointly develop with Weaveworks, to launch a free node multi-availability zone EKS cluster running this optimized image. And once this is successfully launched, we deploy a WordPress container on top of it. So for this demo, we want to start by showing you the EKS optimized AMI image from the marketplace. Here, we'll quickly search for it using EKS as a keyword. Once we located the image, we'll be taken to additional information, including pricing information, for example, and we'll go through the usual subscribe, configure, launch process. This particular image has no charge, but what you'll be able to see is if we select specific region, we can use this AMN ID as reference to incorporate to our workflow in future. For this demo, we're not going to launch directly from the marketplace. Instead, we'll show you how you can launch from an EKS control command line via a Cloud9 IDE environment. So here we're showing you a pre-configured Cloud9 environment, which has EKS control installed along with the right credentials defined. And from here, we'll be able to very simply launch a free node EKS cluster using the Amazon Linux optimized EKS image by default. As you can see, there's some basic default parameters defined in the YAML file. And once we've launched this, you see that at the back end, there's actually two CloudFormation templates being launched. One to configure the EKS clusters and the supporting networking environment. The other one specifically to provision the managed node group using those optimized AMIs. Once this cluster is launched, we can validate this both using the EKS control command line or use kube control as we're showing here. Here, if we note, look into the nodes, we we'll see that it's using the Amazon Linux 2 image. We can also see where it's deployed.
And we can further validate this. If we go to the EC2 console, we'll be able to validate the instance status. We see three worker nodes have been provisioned and they're running. And we can also go to the EKS console. Here we see the cluster have been successfully instantiated. A node group has been provisioned. So the last thing we'll do is to go back to the Cloud9 environment, where we're going to launch a simple WordPress container. For this demo, we'll use the ham chart from Bitnami. And we can actually customize that ham chart so that it will actually pull from the AWS Marketplace registry. Once this is deployed, we'll be able to validate status. The final step for us is to locate parameters such as the service IP and some of the login credentials so we can log into the WordPress container page to validate that it's working. And there you go. We have successfully deployed a WordPress container running on an EKS cluster leveraging Amazon Linux optimized image. Let's recap what we have covered in this session. We spoke about how AWS Marketplace can support builders as a central entry point to discover, buy, deploy, and manage cloud software running on AWS. We also spoke about how fit-for-purpose operating system available on AWS Marketplace can support builders in the journey to migrate, build, and experiment on AWS. And finally, we spoke about how fit-for-purpose operating system and partner solutions that are built upon it can be made available via AWS Marketplace, as well as other AWS interface such as the AWS console or via AWS services such as ECS or EKS. By now, you're probably eager and ready to get started on AWS Marketplace. I will leave you with the link here so you can start discovering software that can help you migrate, build, or experiment right away. We've also provided links to a comprehensive set of digital training materials for your reference. Thank you so much for attending the AWS Builders online series. I hope you find this useful. A kind reminder to complete the survey as your feedback is most valuable to us and help us improve the experience in future. Happy building.